Hello, cobbled friends! I am Gabby, and today I'd like to talk about Pokémon! Legends Arceus has been out for a while now. Even though Gen 9 has already been announced, my heart is still in Hisui. Exploring the world of Pokémon in a new yet familiar way is something the series has definitely needed. Throughout the game's many quests, there seems to be a heavy focus on humans trying to find ways to live alongside and utilize Pokémon in their daily lives. This led me to take another look through all of the Pokémon up to date. Which other ones would make excellent companions outside the scope of battle? We see a lot of this throughout the series, but I also want to explore their real-world counterparts. And so, here is my top 10 list for Pokémon companions outside battle. A few quick rules about this list. I won't be including any Pokémon that are only useful as beasts of burden or pets, since their real-world counterparts are pretty cut and dry and not very interesting. I'm also not including any that would be used as bodyguards or any other sort of combat, since that's basically the same as battles. Oh, and Ditto's not on the list. It can turn into anything, so I feel like that's cheating. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Number 10. Cyndaquil the ability to make and wield fire is what set our ancient ancestors apart from their closest cousins. Naturally, having a fire-type Pokémon of any sort would be extremely useful. But why Cyndaquil specifically? Well, much like its real-world counterpart, basically a lighter, Cyndaquil is small and portable. It's also able to make fire jut out of its body at will, in opposed to other fire types like Charmander, who have fires perpetually burning on parts of their body. Between its small, cute form and ability to control its flames, I think Cyndaquil is the perfect fire-starting companion. Of course, I'm putting this one high on the list simply because it's little more than an endearing flip lighter, and you'd also have to feed and care for it just like any other animal. Moving down the list, we'll be looking at Pokémon with greater utility and more interesting real-world counterparts. Number 9. Porygon The idea of virtual assistance has been around for about as long as computers themselves. The older people out there might remember Clippy, or that weird purple monkey thing, Bonzi Buddy, who was apparently a virus? Uh, anywho, nowadays we have more useful assistants like Siri or Alexa, but imagine having a virtual assistant who's actually alive and sentient, who doubles as an antivirus, and can materialize in the physical world. That is exactly what Porygon is. Now, I suppose Rotom could also fulfill this role, but I'm not too sure about its antivirus capabilities. Getting back to Porygon, though, with its ability to travel between cyberspace and physical space like a Digimon, this Pokémon is both a virtual assistant and a real pet. Having a Porygon in your computer would not only help keep your system safe, but would also keep you company. Number 8. Alchemy. This one's pretty straightforward on the surface. It's a Pokémon, and it makes whipped cream. Available in nine different flavors, this Pokémon is a baker's dream, and though it was clearly designed with that purpose in mind, I think it gets more interesting when you start drawing parallels between it and real life. You see, it's clear that neither Alchemy nor its pre-evolution Milkery were squeezed out of a mill tank. So, is it even milk? One of Milkery's Pokédex entries says that it just materialized from particles in the air. Now, aside from the wild area, Milkery is found on Galar's Route 4, which is covered in grain. It's possible that these airborne particles that formed Milkery were seeds from all these tall grass seed heads that blow in the wind. Now, what's a type of grass seed or grain that can be used to make milk and whipped cream? Oats! That's right! Oats are literally just the seeds from specific types of grass. And, as it turns out, not only do oats thrive in temperate to cold climates, like northwestern Europe where Galar is based on, but they can also be used to make oat milk and oat-based whipped cream. Therefore, I think Milkery and Alchemy are actually made of oat cream. So, there's a bit of real-world info mixed with fan theory for you. Number 7. Drowsy so, insomnia is a thing. A pretty bad thing, I might add. It's usually caused by stress, 
an unhealthy lifestyle, or one of the many physical or mental health conditions. In real life, we often need to make significant changes to our daily lives to try to fix or alleviate insomnia. In addition, sleep aids might be necessary to ease the problem. But not in the world of Pokemon! With Drowsy's ability to hypnotize people to sleep, you'll never have to worry about insomnia again. So long as you have a drowsy companion, you don't need to worry about taking care of your physical or mental health to fix insomnia. You know you most certainly should. Number 6. Clef Key. Do you ever lose your keys? Have you ever had any small valuables stolen from you? Clef Key is a solution to both of these problems. You see those keys hanging from it? Those aren't part of its body. Those are literally keys it's safeguarding. Give this Pokemon your keys or other small valuables and it will protect them and bring them to you when you need them. If threatened, it will jingle furiously at the offender, making it an excellent security alarm as well. In the real world, we need to depend on boring old keychains and safes to protect our belongings. You could also get one of those key finder doodads that will beep when you press a button, but that's not as fun as Klefki. Number 5. The Clinkling Line At a glance, this evolution line might seem like a boring, uninspired design. I personally remember a number of people complaining about it back when Gen 5 was first released. But this Pokemon actually has quite a few possibilities for utility. Namely, its ability to incorporate its body into any piece of machinery that uses gears. Combine this with its ability to generate and store electricity and you have a tinkerer's best friend. You could replace the power source and some of the mechanisms in a device or vehicle with this Pokemon to create what's probably a more reliable machine. We even see this in the anime. In the black and white movies, Manny's uses these Pokemon to power various machines, including a helicopter, and that's pretty awesome. Now, speaking of Pokemon and machinery... Number 4. Diggersby. But bunny Okay, maybe Diggersby isn't as cute as other rabbit Pokemon, but it definitely makes up for it in utility. As the name suggests, this Pokemon is great at digging. You see those big ear claw things? Those are based on the arm of an excavator, which is probably the coolest piece of machinery in existence. Successor to the old-fashioned steam shovel, the excavator is a versatile and powerful piece of equipment, useful for both construction and demolition. And check this out, they're agile enough that a skilled operator can even climb one on board a train. That being said, with those big ears, Diggersby can achieve many of the same tasks as a small excavator. For larger scale projects, you could use a Copperaja, who is definitely an honorable mention for this slot. An additional perk of Diggersby, though, is that floof. This bunny frequently sheds its fluffy fur coat, which can then be used to make warm clothing. Therefore, Diggersby would be your best friend if you're doing construction work in a cold environment. Number 3. Alolan Grimer. So, waste disposal is kind of a big deal in the real world, and I think it's something that's easily taken for granted. Alolan Grimer literally eats garbage, making it an ideal companion for, well, anybody really. If everybody had one of these Grimers in their homes, it would alleviate the need for trash trucks and landfills. Oh, and speaking of landfills, let me tell you about landfill gas. As all that garbage piles up and biodegrades within a landfill, it produces all kinds of nasty gases, including methane. Naturally, we want to keep this stuff out of the atmosphere, so many landfills employ methods of capturing this gas. In doing so, they've effectively bottled themselves some fuel that can be burned to generate electricity. In the world of Pokemon, you could keep an Alolan Grimer in your house, feed it your garbage, and have it burp its valuable landfill gas into a bottle for later use. How resourceful! Number 2. Vaporeon Hey guys, did you know that the cells in Vaporeon's body are basically interchangeable with water? With its famous water absorb ability, it can soak up large volumes of water and spray it back out later. This basically makes Vaporeon a living, mobile water reservoir, 
With enough vaporions, you could easily transport significant quantities of water without the need for pumps or pipelines. Water is vital to all life, and if you've ever played factory games like Factorio or Satisfactory, then you know the logistical challenge of transporting it. Now, I don't know if the water Vaporeon spits out is suitable for drinking, but I'm sure you can always purify it after transportation. Vaporeon would also be useful to farmers for crop irrigation, or firefighters for putting out fires. Oh, and let's not forget its potential for flood control. You could strategically position Vaporeons to soak up and redirect flood water to protect homes. Water makes up roughly 70% of the Earth's surface and 60% of the human body, and with the ability to control it like Vaporeon, the possibilities are virtually endless. Number 1. Victini I initially didn't want to include any legendaries on this list, I just felt like they'd be too powerful. However, Victini is a little different. This Pokemon doesn't wield vast cosmic power. It can't create or destroy entire worlds. It can't grant immortality or consume life. No, Victini's legendary power comes from its namesake, Victory. With a simple touch, Victini can grant others the power to succeed at whatever their hearts desire. If you had this Pokemon with you, you'd be sure to achieve any and all of your personal goals. You see, what really makes Victini unique from other legendaries is that it wouldn't be doing the work for you. No, it would be helping you to accomplish your goals. Unlocking your hidden potential in order to achieve victory. Of course, the main reason I chose Victini as number one in this list is for its real-world counterpart. And that would be your friends. Life is full of struggles and challenges, and nobody should have to go through them alone. It's important to surround yourself with friends and loved ones who support each other. Though certainly interpretive, to me, Victini represents those special people in your life that have your back and support you through your hardships and ambitions. Like Victini, they help you to achieve your victory. And that's my top 10 Pokemon companions outside battle. But what about you? Which Pokemon do you think would make the best companions? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe as I'm trying to put out more new videos on a regular basis. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more gaming related content. Also feel free to join my Discord server, Casual Cobalt Cave. I'm trying to put together a community of gamers who enjoy the social and relaxing aspects of gaming. But anyways, thanks again, take care, and until next time, remember to find the fun in everything.